word, so I'll get right into it, since this is just part two of Redlands, it was a long race, had a lot to talk about, um, and I didn't even mention the crazy lady that we met at the at the supermarket, which is just a story for another day, I wish I'd filmed the whole thing, because it was possibly the greatest supermarket trip I've ever had, um, but that doesn't really matter, um, we'll move on and we'll get to the, the crit and the final day sunset loop. Uh, so Sun or Redlands crit, it's a super cool crit. Nine corners, pretty technical. Um, it's a really hard crit, but one of my favorites. Um, anyways, our plan going in was really just to race. We didn't really have anyone to protect, and just kind of see what we could do. You know, breaks a breakaway has won the last few years, so we thought that maybe if we really pushed it. Um, we could get that to go. Anyways, as the race started, it was pretty quick. Breakaways were not really going, so it was just a constant, you know, barrage of a couple guys up the road, brought back. A couple guys up the road, brought back. Steve was riding like an animal. He was out the front a whole bunch early on. Um, I was able to get up the front a couple times, snag a preem, which was awesome. Uh, uh, a couple other guys, and then, I mean, it was pretty hectic, there was a lot of crashes, uh, I'll try to post some videos on this blog post as well of the crashes, because they were pretty amazing, uh, in the last few laps, Dylan crashed, which is really unfortunate, um, but he was okay, so that's good, you know, he's up and riding, uh, and Pat had a knee injury that was bugging him, so he was out, which is a bummer as well, um, but we kind of just kept racing, and, uh, yeah, we had an overall good crit, and, you know, in the end, I actually ended up 8th, which is one of my better result, best, actually, it's my, my best result in an NRC race, so I'm pretty stoked on that, um, and then, yeah, so I kind of had some good motivation going into Sunset the next day, and Sunset's pretty cool, it's one of probably the harder days racing in America that I've ever done anyway, um, you leave town, you head up into, you know, the Redlands Sunset area, and you do 11, it was 12 laps, but it got shortened to 11, because they started a little bit late, so you do 11 laps of Sunset Loop, which is awesome, but it's literally just like 4.5k uphill, 4k downhill, and it's, it's hard, and then you head back into town, and you do finishing circuits, and if you don't make the front group in the finishing circuits, they basically take your time, and you don't get to finish the race. You get a time, you get a place, but you're not with the front group. And this is my fourth year, and I've never made it, so I really wanted to make it this year. And right off the get-go, first lap um, over the KOM, there was a breakaway of about 20, 25 guys. Lucky we had Steve Fisher up there, who was, again, just smashing it on the front. Um... So he was up there, staying safe, just happy with where he was. I was in the field, kind of right behind Jameis. They were riding. And on a lap three, Lachlan Morton, you could tell he was a little nervous how far the break was getting. So he attacked out of the field. About half Jameis and another 10 or 15 guys kind of all went. I was in a small group of about 10 or 15 behind that. So we all chased, and by the time we started up the climb, the next lap, we'd reabsorb the breakaway, but as we reabsorbed the breakaway, another break of like eight or nine riders went. Uh, Steve got in that break again, which was awesome. Um, and at the top in the feed zone, I was able to counter somebody else's attack, and with about five other dudes, we rolled up to the breakaway. And anyways, the break ended up being 19 guys, and we rode pretty much the next six laps together. Um, Silver was really motivated to ride because they wanted the jersey. And, yeah, it was awesome. Uh, we kept riding, and the time gap was going up. It was like a minute, minute 30. Um, and then, I guess the last point, it was over two minutes by the time they got to the circuits. But in the last, like, three laps, we would, you know, guys were attacking pretty hard through the KOM, and our break of 19 would split and then come back together and then split and come back together. And final time up, it split right over the KOM. I was not in the front group. I was in the chasing group of about six of us. And we chased 
so hard. Um, we were going as hard as we freaking could all the way back to Redlands, and we just couldn't shut the gap down. Uh, I think when we entered the circuits, we were 12 seconds behind the group, and one guy had made it across of our six, and we just kept working and working, and I literally rode myself out of the group. So I'd made the circuits, and on lap like three of the circuit, I just pulled through too hard, and the two guys who came through jumped up to the move, and I finished by myself behind, ended up 14th on the day. Um, Steve was up in that front group and smashed it, got fifth place. So as a team, we really um, rode well. Kaler rolled in with the other group and ended up getting best amateur for the day. Um, I moved into a top 20, G or not best amateur for the day, best amateur for the entire race. I moved up to top 20 GC, which I was super stoked on. Um, that's uh, really good for me. Uh, hoping that I can keep the momentum rolling for the next few races. So, yes, another super long video of just me talking, but I hope you like it. It's just my way of giving a recap to the race. Comment, question, whatever you guys want, and I will try to make better videos. I think there's some lag on this one, so maybe just listen and not actually watch. Um, but yeah, Redlands, I love it. Love the city, love the people. Best host housing situations ever there. They they do such a good job as a community. Um, it's, yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite races. And this year it went pretty well, and I just hope to keep improving on what I have. And, and uh, I really want to win Sunset one day. Next couple years I'm going to win Sunset. So, anyways, peace.